Cuba, tour or tank ignites at firefighter Joko to extinguish blaze. A daily fire that we get at Cuba's main oil terminal at Matanzan has created after third cool tank caused fire and collapsed as firefighter Joko to further massive blaze. At least one person has died and 125 are injured, with dozens of firefighters report missing ever since lighting struck one of the facility A tanks on Friday night. A second tank caused fright on Saturday, triggering several explosions at the facility, which plays a key part in Cuba's electric system. The governments of Mexico and Venezuela have sent special teams to help extinguish the fire with water cannons, blends, and heavy coaster fighting to fire from several directions. As military construction specialists erected barrier to contain oil spills. Local officers warn residents to use face masks or stay indoor given the below winds more enveloping the region that could be seen from the capital on Havana, more than 100 km away. The majority of those injured were treated for burn and small inhalation, and five of them remained a critical condition, 24 remain hospitalized, over the weekend, authority found the body one of the firefighter as related of those still missing gathered at the hotel to away news about their loved ones. Governor Sabinas and Cuban President Megan Cannon said it was possible to search for the missing firefighter given the rolling temperature. The place that the Martins and Supertaker based in Martins City prompted officers to evacuate more than 1,900 people, most of them from the nearby Dubrod neighborhood. That's it for today. Thank you and see you in the next video.